Are you ready to dive into the wild world of new market real estate where the inventory is low and playing hide and seek with buyers? I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker. And here is your February 2024 real estate report for New Market Ontario. All right, before we begin, I just want to say how excited we are to be filming in our new office location here at 390 Davis Drive. Can't wait to take you on a tour soon. Inventory was still low at the end of January with only 129 active listings up only by nine by the end of December. And as of the time of this recording, active listings have only increased slightly. It should be noted that of those 129 active listings, there are 17 properties that are listed as assignment sales. That's new construction condos that have yet to be finished. This is somewhat interesting to watch as this is a new phenomenon in the new market. Also interesting to compare the current active listing count to what the count was at the end of November, which was 223. Just a reminder that there was a lot of listings withdrawn from the market in December that have not come back to the market yet. With 67 sales reported in January, it was by no means a record setting month, but it is in range with what I would consider a normal level of sales for a January. This is encouraging since sales volume was very depressed in 2023, marking a 25 year low for the number of homes sold in town. As prices adjust, we are certainly expecting to see the number of sales be dramatically higher this year than last. The number of sales broke down as follows. 39 detached homes, nine semi-detached homes, nine townhomes, and only five condo sales, three condo apartments and two condo townhomes. The average price of the 67 sales in January was 1,130,000, which is roughly down 3% from January, 2023. The average sale price broke down per property type as follows. 1,307,715 for the 39 detached homes, which was a 0.03 increase from January, 2023. The nine semi-detached sales averaged 957,178 for the month, which was actually up 9.4% from a year ago. Another interesting fact about the semi-detached sales for the month was that the average days on market was 59 with three of them taking more than 100 days to sell. The nine townhome sales averaged a price of 937,678, which was down 5.5% from a year ago, with the highest sale being 1,055,000 for a very nicely renovated middle unit on Shanahan Boulevard, which received multiple offers. On that note, 17 of the 67 sales were reported sold for more than the asking price, representing 25% of all sales. There was a handful of cases too that achieved multiple offers, but failed to sell over the asking price. When it comes to price segments, the under $1 million price point is certainly the most active area, as it had the largest percentage of qualified buyers that can purchase. 49% of all sales in January were under a million dollars, but it should also be noted that there were two sales at $2 million and above. The first being a big master series home on Alex Donor Drive in Glenway Estates, which backs onto what was the 13th hole of the old golf course, which sold for $2 million even, and a tastefully renovated home on Far North Circle in Stonehaven, which sold for $2,210,000. But the most interesting part of those two sales is how quick they sold three days and six days respectively. Certainly interesting to see those big prices moving quickly. Inventory will drive market prices this year, much like it does in most years. I am still expecting to see a large increase in the active listing by the end of March, but if the homes are priced well, they should move quickly, helping to keep inventory levels between 250 and 300 through the summer months. 2024 is going to be a much more active year than 2023 was. And we are already seeing that with the activity that we've had in January and the first half of February. Of course, the big question on everyone's mind is what's going to happen with interest rates. There has certainly been a lot of mixed signs on that, but we are certainly anticipating the earliest we could see any sort of interest rate changes will be mid-year. We'll be watching the Bank of Canada policy announcement on March 6 for clues as to what may be coming. If 2024 is the year you plan to sell your home, you might want to think about a sale sooner than later to take advantage of the low inventory. 
In summary, for new market as a whole, we will see a lot more activity in 2024. Pricing games will be played here and there by some agents and sellers, but I do expect to see more homes priced properly according to market values. Homes that are nicely renovated or properly staged will reap the rewards in this fast moving market. In this higher interest rate environment, buyers are willing to pay more for something that is perceived to require less work. Now, I'm not suggesting you go ahead and do a full kitchen and bathroom renovation just to sell your home, but you need to know your home's strength and weak points so that you're able to make a plan how to tackle them before listing your home. If you have any questions about the information provided in this video, don't hesitate to reach out. Myself or a member of my team would be happy to discuss with you what's going on in the market and how it may affect you and your family. And if you're a homeowner that would like to get an idea how much your home may be worth in today's market, we would love to sit down with you and provide a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home may be worth so you can get a better handle on how to strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. See you next month.